The following portion of My Carolina is sponsored by... Welcome back to My Carolina. 2022, it was a year of record-breaking growth and success for the Raleigh Regional Association of Realtors. Not only did the association see a record number of donations to charities and advocates, but they also held brand new events like the Fair Housing Forum and the Pride Luncheon supporting the LGBTQ community. With us today, we have President of the Board of Directors, Teresa Pitt, and Secretary and Treasurer, Sharon Gupton. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Amber, for having us. Well, you have had a huge, huge year, and I know it's just continuing to propel forward into the new year, but let's kind of review back on 2022. Teresa, what are some of the biggest accomplishments you had in 2022? And of those, what are some of your favorites? Well, one of my favorite favorites was global. We uh, achieved diamonds, excuse me, we achieved platinum status for the fifth year wow. in a row and we're on track to achieve diamond in 2023 and that is an award from the national association of realtors wow. and then also the numerous events that we had uh, related to lbgtq our fair housing and just embracing our community and giving our members just a multitude of opportunities to participate. You really do. Not only are you helping people find homes, but you're also such a presence in our community, which I know everyone really appreciates. So thank you for that. And Sharon, what about you? We had record-breaking donations for the Realtor Giving Network. It's a local nonprofit, and it's supported by realtors throughout the area. We had over $400,000 wow. in donations to help homeless, we were able to give double the number of grants to local nonprofits. So we have all of these great entities in our community that have been helping. They know where the needs are to make some differences, and we have the ability with the Realtor Giving Network to capitalize on these realtors that just have deep hearts and want to give. So it's been, it was, it was a great year in that way. I can tell just as you talk about it how important it is to you. So again, thank you for doing all that. I know you affect so many others' lives in the best way possible. Well, I know that's only going to continue as we roll into 2023. Let's talk about some of your goals. What about you, Teresa? Well, one of the major goals is advocacy, and that is uh, advocating for housing opportunities for all. Fair housing is primary. Those that are unsheltered, we need to be concerned about those because they are part of our community and we need to find ways to assist them with getting back on their feet, uh, finding housing, working with them on their credit. So if they aspire to own a home, they will have the tools and the skills to do so. So that is primary. And as part of our advocacy efforts, we work with uh, local politicians who also have the belief, believe in fair housing mm -hmm. and that ability of help assisting our community. And with that, we, you know, have a realtor pack, our pack, which is our political action uh, committee that uh, contributes, our members contribute to that voluntarily. Mm -hmm. And we use those funds to help advocate and to help support those candidates that uh, candidates campaign in the election mm. that will support our efforts. That's such a great team effort because who knows more about helping people find homes no matter what situation they are and then teaming up with the people who can actually change those laws. So that's a great, great goal. And what about you, Sharon, for 2023? It's important that we teach realtors. Um, we have the continuing education classes. We continue learning so much about the industry in our area. We also then, with the association, provide several different opportunities for getting involved and volunteering in the community, helping with some of the um, uh, like affordable housing, building sure. homes that you, you would hear about, um, some of the different things in the community with providing things that children need, with other entities need. In addition, there are a lot of committees that 
different realtors can serve on. Um, advocacy, as Catrice has mentioned, as well as so many different areas, diversity, equity, inclusion. Such a great way that we can all come together and learn and, and then help our clients out there. You really are. Your help is just going down every avenue possible, and we appreciate it. For everyone who would like more information, maybe on some of the great work you're doing in the community or to find a realtor or just learn more about the association, where can we go? The website is the best place. So if you go to Raleigh Regional Association of Realtors, and we are very interested in always making it very reachable, have a lot on there, and for others that are affiliated. Well, we appreciate both of you taking the time to come and give us an update and let us know what you're doing this year. We wish you all the best, and we know you will just continue to hit those goals and go above and beyond. The preceding was sponsored by... It's 7.55.